today's project review is going to be these three items that will include these eyelashes from Timu, this face powder from Timu, and this foundation from Timu. So I am wearing all of it right now. So if you want to see what my first impressions are and how these items performed, stay tuned. So this is just going to be the uh, first impressions of these products. But first I'm going to try out the, I don't know if that's pronounced Joko, but it's Refreshing and Radiant Air Cushion Cream. And I do believe that in the listing, it did say it was supposed to be a matte full coverage. However, on the packaging here, it doesn't really say that. So I will have to go into the listing and make sure I didn't pick out something that's supposed to be um, moisturizing because I have extremely dry skin. So let's go ahead and give it a try. This is the second darkest shade that they had that I wanted to pick up because I do have a little bit of sun. So I am going to just take the puff that was included in it and just kind of dab a couple of times. I don't know, that might be too much, but let's, <laughs> let's try it out. Let's see. So that is, that is a pretty full coverage. Let's see how far we can take it. How, how much a couple of dabs or how far a couple of dabs will go. Cause I'd be interested to see, you know, if I can get half of my face with just a couple of dabs. I mean, so far it's got, it's got some nice coverage to it. The more you kind of pull it out, the less coverage you get. So the, the further you stretch it, the less coverage. So I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my face and I will be right back. Just for spits and giggles, I'm going to try, I know it's dirty, um, I am going to try my sponge and see how I like the application of that versus the little pad that they give you. Let me see if it's about the same. It looks to be about the same. I, I like the control of my little sponges a little bit better than those little pads. That's just my preference. Some people really do like those pads, but I, I think I like, yeah, I think I like this better. So I'm gonna keep moving on. Now I wanna see if it's buildable. So let's see if I can get more coverage without it lifting. I think it's doing good so far. Doesn't look like it's lifting. And that just gives me just a, a little bit more coverage, covers up the redness just a little bit more. So let's do it again on the other side. Yes, it is buildable. Now I'm going to see how it reacts with the rest of my cream products. Okay, so far, and it's not bad. There's just a little bit, a little bit of creasing right in here, but not bad. So this is my Revolution bronzer that I love, love, love. So let's find out what happens when I use this. From what I can see, it doesn't really look like it's pulling anything up. So that's great. 
Now, unfortunately, I did use the wrong brush because this is my blush brush and this is my bronzer blush. I know they're both disgusting, guys. I'm sorry. Um, but I don't see any lifting. So, so far, great start. This blush is more of a liquid than a cream. This is the Juvia's Place blushes, blushes. And this one is the newer one with the, the glitters and the sparkles in it. This shade is Soft Tulip Glow. And you guys, if you try these, you only need a dot, like a tiny, tiny little dot. So let's try that out and see what happens and if if the more liquid products might lift that foundation so it doesn't seem like it so that's good i am going to continue on and i will be right back now let's test to see how it fares with a concealer. This is my Born This Way multi-use concealer in the shade Marshmallow, in case anybody's wondering. So I will just do one eye how I would normally use it. And then I'll continue on with the next. I just wanna see if this is going to pull up some of that foundation. Because sometimes foundations and concealers, they do not play nice with each other. So, I mean, same thing with your, your cream blushes and bronzers. And by the way, you guys, this is all I used um, as a primer because I didn't wanna put too many moisturizers on because I noticed that it said radiant. And so I thought if I put too many moisturizers on, I might be a glutton for punishment. So I just used this, which is the new Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray by e.l.f. You can, it's kind of like um, the, the gripping, um, the gripping, <laughs> hang on a second, I will get it because I guess I don't. I think maybe I have passed it along. But it's the, it's kind of the same thing as the Power Grip e.l.f. primer. So, but only in a liquid form because I, again, I have extremely, extremely oily skin. And so too many layers and things that are a little bit too thick will really make those oils on my skin just kind of pop. It just feeds it. <laughs> So I try to use very, very light layers. So let's let's take a look and see. I don't think it has lifted. It doesn't appear to be lifted, so that's good. So I'm gonna continue on and I will be right back. On the chopping block is the Charlotte Tilbury Dupe, which is Makeup Setting Powder Filter Soft, Focus Lasting, Complexion Perfecting Micro Powders. <laughs> 10 times fast. Um, for my under eyes um, is where I'm going to use this only. I'm going to be using my e.l.f. triangular puff because I just get in there easier. And let me just fine tune the collection of, <laughs> of concealer within my wrinkles here. I always do this first, you guys. Um, then I'm going to go in with powder. I put probably too much on there, but we will we will see. And then, of course, I'm just going to do a little bit of baking. Now, <clears throat> if you have really dry skin, you probably need to avoid doing baking. But I have really, really oily skin, so it looks really dry at first. And But in time, my oils come through and it'll look just fine. So I'm going to get this all layered on. And let me take a peek in my... Um, 10 times zoom focus mirror and looks pretty soft. I mean, I can still see, I can still see my wrinkles. It didn't make my wrinkles disappear or anything, but um, let's keep going. But so far, not a bad powder. Now I cannot attest 
to its um, similarity to the Charlotte Tilbury powder because I don't have the Charlotte Tilbury powder. Um, but this definitely does have the aesthetics of the Charlotte Tilbury powder. And of course, I did not pull this wrapper off yet. Um, let's see. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah, that totally looks like the, the Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> so, um, okay, continuing, I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then we will do lashes. I'm gonna show you guys how I put my eye, my, my eyes, my, my lashes on. So first off, I have a very, 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 very thin um, strip of glue, if that will even focus, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, and then I let it turn uh, colors, but not all the way. So it goes from white to clear. So I wait till it gets a little, a little half and half, as you can kind of see there. And then what I will do is I will take this kind of a tweezer, one of these little kind of half moon shaped ones and I will apply it to middle of the lash to middle of my eye, just like so, okay? Then I will take another tweezer, which is either one of these or something real basic that everybody has in their cabinets that you buy at the store, and I will tuck in one end really close to my, my lash line and then I will tuck the other end really close into my lash line. And then typically I would give it, I would give it a second or two to kind of um, dry a little bit in place before I do this step, but I'm, for, for time's sake, I'm just gonna show you what I do next. Then once it's on there, I will squeeze and pinch my natural lashes with the falsy lashes and that will pretty much hold it oh no oh no let go see that's it's too wet yet that's <laughs> that's a problem that i will encounter if i do not let it dry a little bit more and then sometimes that'll pull the lash off but what you'll want to do when that happens instead of like pulling back on it hard just kind of wiggle and, and wiggle it a little bit and because otherwise it will pull your lash right off your eye. And then of course you can do any additional tweaking if you need to, but basically that's it. So if you're not used to doing lashes, this is how I do it. Um, I know that there are people who do it with their fingers. I mean, God bless you, you're amazing, but there's no way the heck I can, especially when my nails are long. So I like to use these tools. And the glue that I use is the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe and Latex Free in the color Clear, and it is the brush on kind. And that usually um, sticks pretty well with my oily skin. Also, my eyes tear a lot, so it also helps with that. So continuing on with some more updates on that um, powder that I used under my eyes, the one that's supposed to be a dupe. Now, it was a little tricky for me to get uh, my eyeshadow on, and I almost always powder my, my eyes before I put eyeshadow on just because my, my I, I haven't found a concealer that doesn't crease. So it didn't really want to stay on where I put it. So maybe with that one, just an under eye powder would be good, but maybe just not above on the eyelid when you're going to be doing eyeshadow. Also, this puff, um, I didn't really like how it applied my um, powder. Um, but maybe it's because I'm just used to my e.l.f. one, which is a little bit more dense. You might like it, but for me, I really have to pack on that powder so that my face doesn't get greasy faster. So it kind of helps to keep my oils at bay a little bit longer when I really pack it on. So this one was would be okay for, for most people who don't like it slathered all over their face, but not for somebody like me who needs a pound of powder on my face. Here we have a three hour in or four hour in um, foundation review. So it's already cracking apart. I already have 
um, lines and it's collecting, you know, in, in all my little cracks and crevices. Um, I'm already getting pretty shiny and Israel had said that he thought that it looked really cakey because it's just kind of collecting and puddling in all of my like pores and everything like that. So um, I don't think that I would recommend this foundation for oily gals um, or even, even us um, older gals that have wrinkles and fine lines. The powder isn't even hasn't even set my um, my under eye concealer, so you can see all of the lines in there. Um, from a distance, it looks fine, but close up, I'm looking a little worse for for wear. Um, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that. I don't even think that I need to attempt to do. Uh, another check-in six eight ten hours and we're, we're already looking like a hot mess even with my favorite powder and um setting sprays and stuff like i i usually use with my makeup and usually have good results i guys i don't i don't think i like the powder or the foundation so i don't know i i just haven't had luck with uh timu cosmetics but you know, on, on a rare occasion, I'll try something new and this one let me down again. So I don't know what to tell you guys about the Timu stuff. It's, if you want to get inexpensive makeup, that's really good quality. Check out She Glam. She Glam is from Shein. Um, it's about the only thing I will buy from, from Shein is their She Glam products. So if you're interested in affordable products that are worth the buy, check out She Glam. We are coming at you the day after testing the Timu foundation and powder. And I just wanna hop in here real quick and I wanna show you the difference of what good quality makeup will give you. So obviously, as you're looking at it, I don't have much creasing, okay? I have some because I have deeper wrinkles. Um, my eyes are not creasing because I have good powder and my pores don't look overly enlarged. And overall, it just looks a little, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm caked to the nines with layers upon layers, but it looks better than the Timu foundation and powder, which really seemed to enlarge and emphasize all of the issues. So let me show you what I used. I used a combination of my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation, which is too light for my skin currently. So I mixed it in with a little bit of the Laura Mercier Flawless Foundation to add a little bit of darkness in there. I used my She Glam um, Insta Ready, which is an under eye and face powder duo in the shade pink. And then of course, all over my face, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite. I will ride or die with this Wet n Wild Photo Focus Translucent Loose Face Powder. This is what helps to keep my oils at bay and fills in those pores and wrinkles and makes my face just look more flawless. So this is the difference between Timu Pupu Kaka and something worth buying.